Hey friends, how's everybody doing? Hey, I hope well. I do. Um, you know what's uh, funny? You know, after doing something for, for a while, you uh, like say, for instance, axes or collecting something or anything you get, you, you notice little things that will tell you, oh, maybe that's a Sager. Oh, geez, that looks like a characteristic of a, of a Kelly uh, works or, or a man axe or something. They have certain council tool. They all have a certain something in their making that is a little bit different. So this morning, actually 15 minutes ago, as a matter of fact, I'm in the bunker and I'm, I got some beautiful handles, some doubles. Uh, we got, just so you friends know, when I meant back in the saddle, we're back in the saddle, okay? We're, we got like, we're shipping axes this week. I tried to get some out Friday. It was just, or I mean, you know, whatever. The camp and trip and everything, yada, yada, yada. <laughs> Stuff's going out this week, come on. It is now Saturday. Um, so I'm, here's this head. Look, look, I wanna show you this. Oh, who's that? Oh, it's Mike Morgan. <laughs> what a guy. He just texted me from Michael. Um, Nice family. What he's sure supportive of this channel, eh, friends? Um, the Morgans outdoors with the Morgans. If you haven't been over there, go over there. The man's got. He just got a mill. You can tell he likes the power saws, friends. <laughs> he's got a beautiful piece of property. The man mows grass like the lawnmower man. Uh, he's got all kinds of goodies and tools and stuff, and and he's always doing something. The guy, you know, it takes a lot of effort and time to do that. So kudos to you, Mike Morgan, and your family. And Hunter, you crazy guy, you. Anyway, um, thanks, Mike Morgan and the Morgans. Thank you guys for your support on this channel. They're shouting me out left and right on the Axemen. Oh, did I tell you I was on the Axemen History Channel? The show called Axemen? Yeah, me and my son Hogan there were on that show. It's called Axemen. You should check it out. It's a little different from previous seasons. Of course it is. So here's this axe head and I'm going along and I'm thinking, geez, this looks like something good. It looks something good. It just didn't, it didn't look no name. But as the heads go, like, like you look at this one here, for instance, Jeremy Bell sent me this with my two power saws that by the way, we're going to test today. Yeah. Hey friends. And it's a Kelly, like I wouldn't have known it. Whoever's played around with old axes, you know what it's like, right? Let's set you down. So you're not freaking hopping all over the place. There, is that better? Yeah, I think it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Now, so whoever plays around with this stuff, you, you know that you get these things that are like, like that. This is the perfect example. Let's tilt this just a little wee bit so you get a wee bit of the, of the 372 up in the, up in the top corner there. Hey, that's, is that racket? Oh. Um, yeah, so, so that's what you get. And it, you, you got to be careful. A lot of guys will take grinders and stuff to stuff. I don't do it. I, I just don't do it. I'll show you the epitome, uh, uh, epitome, epitome, epitome of my cleanup job. I'll show you. Here's one that I, uh, this is how I clean up my heads. Where is one? Oh, here's a perfect example. Actually, right on the freaking, and this is a gorgeous axe, by the way. Oh, look, friends. Look. I leave a bunch of the old world on it. This is a beautiful axe, very blunt head here. Gorgeous wood uh, wedge banger, but see a little true temper on there or not? That's good for me, that's good enough right there. Needs an edge, needs to be taking the sharp burrs off from people beating it up over the years, yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm, getting to the, I'm getting to the story. Trust me, I'm getting there. Um, we got a big job coming up this week, friends. Yeah, it's a big one, probably a two dare, yeah. Um, so what this is, is Kelly Axe and Tool Works. I mean, friends, Jeremy Bell throws this in with the power saws. And you, you won't see it unless you get out the sander, however your technique is for getting this black stuff off. So here I am. I'm a Sager man. I've always been a Sager man. I love Sager. They have a little bit of a smaller eye, okay, here. There's certain characteristics about certain heads that you can track out, like I was talking about earlier in the video. Um, you may not see it, but you may. And actually, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna show you how you will see it. If I can make this work, 
I'll be one proud man. Okay, where are you guys? There you are there. Is this going to work for you guys? Oh, look. Yes, it is. Look at friends. Do you see that? Look at chemical. It's a chemical freaking look at Sager. <laughs> it's a Sager chemical. But the interesting thing is, and I don't know, I don't go after all the, you know, like, oh, that particular stamp is from here to there. I just don't do that. It's not that important to me. What's important to me is that, you know, hey, it's a Sager. Groovy. But I'll tell you what it isn't. Okay? And it isn't this. Because I've got a few of them. The Sagers, okay? And it is not this. This is literally stamped right into the freaking, you can see it, okay? That's a 31, Sager Chemical 31, okay? This is different. It, yes, it's stamped, but it's, it's, it's so small. Uh, it's a different stamp. Let's just say that. It's a different stamp. But freaking there it is down in my little, almost my junk drawer. Not junk drawer, but just another little spot where I keep things, right? And I go in there and I pick it out of there. And I'm like, I'm just going to, because the reason I picked it out, and I'll tell you why I picked it out, is because of this. This right here, friends. This is a splitting beast. It is. And I'm actually going to take some axes and my, my hot rod, uh, bellhopper hot rod McCulloch's today. Like right now, actually, I'm loading up. And we're going to go to that alder patch, friends. The hardwood patch that we were in. And I'm going to take those max and I'm going to run them over there. And I'm going to go get paid. And I'm going to buck some wood with those hot rod power saws with a screwdriver in my pocket. With a screwdriver in my pocket. And uh, you know what I mean? That's what I'm going to do. Uh, this is another sign of Sager. They test their steel with a stamp somewhere along the line. There's the temper line there. The hard spot for the chop, chop, bang, bang. And this is the softer part for the, uh, say the pole or the eye. Just correct the eye. Okay. This is a very nice ax. And the handle I got for it. Didn't know I had the nunchucks on you, did you? Straight up and din. Straight up and din. Very nice from Whiskey River. Uh, it's just a beauty. It's just a freaking beauty. I like ax handles that go like this, down, and then they got a little bit of a shoulder, like a flare out there. I just like the way it looks in the ax, you know? Anyways, there's quite a bit of work to be done here because it doesn't, uh, it doesn't even go in. It's too short. The ax, it's too, like, needs lots of work. So we're gonna do that, but we ain't doing it today. I'll tell you that right new. We're not doing it today. But what we are gonna do, look at this head. This is a Kentucky, friends. Look at this thing. It's a Kentucky because of the length of the bit, okay? They called them Kentuckys. And it's cracked and broken and I'm gonna repair it. I'm gonna repair it. And this thing, I feel like it's about four and three quarter pounds. Let's have a look. It's actually five. It's five pounds. Wow, it's a big head. This is a monster, okay? And as a matter of fact, no, I, I won't go there just yet. Where's my Kentucky? Uh, a Southern Kentucky. Yes, it is. It's a Kentucky. I got a little thing there, a little thing on the wall. I'll show you guys just because that's the kind of feller I am. Okay, we got a 10 minute video going here with no interruptions. I like it. I like it a lot. There's me thing there, friends. It's a thing on the axis so you can find out what kind of pattern you've got. You can see your Michigans there. You can see your Michigan Phantom. And you can see your wee hoser planes there. You know what I mean? Your Dayton's. The Dayton axe is a very, very a common, plain, plain axe style. The Dayton. I'll show you a Dayton pattern. A Dayton. Where's my Dayton pattern? I had one on me the other day. This is a wee dating pattern right here, friends. Just straight up, just an axe is all it is. It says, hello, my axe, my name's Dayton. Let's see, yes, there it is there, plain Dayton. Very straightforward, friends. Okay, 
Okay. I'm going to pack up my wee box. What else? Oh, I showed you that. And while we're here, I got to show you this. I know some of you have seen this, friends, but you know when you pick up an axe? You pick up an axe in your hand and you go, like I do, I kind of just, I, I even look around and I look like that. Look at my face, I go like this. Hmm. Yeah, I do, that's what I do. And this is what ends up happening. See this one? See the balance on that one? Yeah. It's a well-balanced ax. It's not heavy in the head and it's not heavy in the handle. You don't want it heavy in the handle. You don't, you don't want to be back here. That's not good. You'll vibrate like crazy. You want to be up in here. Up in here, I would say one to uh, four is getting even, you know, one to three inches in there is good. Three, four would be max here, you know? That'd be max. Four is getting up there. I would think four would be too much. Uh, yeah, it's, it's bordering on too much. I would say, actually, as a matter of fact, friends, as a matter of fact, anywhere between three inches, see, there's your balance point. You want to balance out somewhere in here. The more you're up here, obviously, the more heavy the head is, right? I like it in here somewhere and th for splitting wood, depending on what you're doing. This one's a little heavier in the handle or lighter in the head, so to speak. So this is going to lay out in here. There you are. See, so that's probably, let's measure that. Sorry, friends. That is, actually, it's two and three quarter inches. So I, I, I'm, a, I'm a one and three quarter guy. I, I like it, I like it in here a little bit. See, this one's just a little bit heavier or lighter in the head, say. But still wonderful balance and, and a great all around axe. 30 inch handle. Oh, it's a beauty. And that pattern is wicked. It's a West German head. You guys have seen this axe. I got an axe problem. I do. I've got an axe problem, friends. It's awful. And I showed you my two pound, my two and a half pound long handled boys axe, didn't I? This HB long handled freaking 36 inch handle freaking whippersnapper, uh, long handled boys axe. It's crazy for stuff. It, 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 this is a neat, neat axe. Okay. Enough of that. Welcome to the new subscribers. Hey, I know somebody just subscribed about a minute ago because I seen our counter go up one. Jason Gilbert, you son of a gun. Look at friends. I'm going to show this to you again. We're at 13 minutes. I may as well upload the bugger, shan't I? I shan't. I shall. Ooh, careful, bucking. See? 57,158 subscribers. And I just saw it flap up to 58. So welcome to you, Mr. 58. Good to see you here. I'm glad you made it. It's a close one, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, friends. I'm off. I'm going to go load up. I'm just going to upload this freaking stu silly thing. But I'm also, actually something just hit me, the bellhopper, friends, he's got some surprises for us and he's working on another one for Buckenstock. Friends, Buckenstock's coming up. It's coming right up. We're like six weeks away and it's, it's coming. I got to get, I got to get my cannon gear. I got to, I got to mail axes to, to decal, get that all set up. Um, it's creeping up. I'm getting a little nervous, actually. <laughs> anyway, I'm going. I'm going to get my Max, and we're going to go cut some wood. And I'll do some video. I'll get the GoPros out and shoot you a good video. There was one other thing. Somebody just bought a Buckenstock ticket. Jason Hare. Jason Hare, it was you. I saw you. I will see you at Buckenstock, my friend. I'm looking real forward to meeting you there. Over and out, friends. Be kind. Talk to you soon on the next video. Over and out.